What's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. If you're new to the page, go ahead and hit the like button, but more importantly, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you and welcome to the family. Um, I've been in investing for over 20 years and I've made a lot of money, but in my earlier days, I made a lot of mistakes. So I'm helping you guys to learn from my mistakes and to make a lot of money. I've learned a lot and I've made a lot and I want to help you make a lot, especially if you're new to the investing game. Um, I'm going to say something right now to answer the question of the heading of this video. Is the market, is there market manipulation? Yes. H E double hockey stick. Yes. It is ridiculous. The hypocrisy uh, and the manipulation that's going on. I'm going to just come right out of the gate and, and we're going to dive into this. I want to get this off of my chest. I want to just get it off uh, uh, and be done with it because I, I didn't sleep well. Good people. I, I didn't sleep well. I just been thinking about this and the more I think about this, the madder I get. And I just need to be done with this because we need to get back to investing and looking for opportunities to buy. Right. So, fam, just just bear with me. I just need to tell you guys that don't know, don't see everything that's going on. It's much bigger than you think. Right. And so sometimes you got to take a bird's eye view and step back when it's first started happening. I didn't fully understand it, but there's certain certain stuff that even people in the battle don't even get. So it's, this is truly a David versus Goliath uh, thing going on. And it's not just the millennials versus the institution. It's the retail buyers versus the institutions. The institutions own 75% of the stock market. And then the rest of us, the 25%, we're, we're, we're the retail buyers, right? 85% of the retail buyers are millionaires, right? So we know this is where the money is, right? But understand this, good people. The stock market is the great equalizer. I'm going to hit you with a scripture from the Bible right now. Proverbs 13, 22 says a wise man leaves um, uh, an inheritance for his children and his children's children. We're supposed to leave an inheritance. But the part that comes after that says the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous or the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. So the wicked, some of these wicked hedge fund managers are greedy as crap. They are so fat and they don't want you to get any of the money. They don't even want you to get the crumbs from the table. Let me hit you. Think about this. In 2020, during COVID, this is what I need you guys to understand. During COVID, 25% of the top hedge fund managers, 25, I'm sorry, not 25%, 25 of the top hedge fund managers made $20 billion. $20 billion. And eight of them made a billion a piece. That's why they call them masters of the universe. You know, it's like that, that movie Wolf of Wall Street, that line. I, you know, last year I made $364 million. I was mad because I was off by one year, one, one million. Cause I wanted to make a million a day. These guys, some of these guys are making a billion. And these are just the managers. That's not what the, that's not what the hedge fund brought in. This is what the managers are getting paid. That's crazy. And they don't even want you to get the crumbs from the table. So what I don't like is, is these institutions and these hedge funds, they have had years tools that we didn't have privy to. And now that we have over 11 million new just Robin Hood alone, 11 million new accounts, right? So they know that's new money, new liquidity into the market. And we have new investors that don't know the market, right? And so now you get in and they're saying, oh, welcome. And, but we're going to take your money. So we're going to pump a stock up 
and cause you to have FOMO and follow that stock up. And then we, the institutions, we're going to sell it. Then we're going to short the stock, meaning for those of you that don't know, we're going to make money on, on the stock going down and then, then push the price down. And then we taking your money. They're taking all of y'all's money, right? And that was fine for years. They're short. They find companies to short. They find companies like GameStop to short because they're brick and mortar. They were going out of business. They were shutting down. It's, it's easy target. But then the millennial says, you know what? And not just the millennials, institutional buyers says, you know what? We're going to beat you at your game. We want to do the same thing you guys are doing. And then when they get ready to do the same thing and push the stock up and it starts to work, then the brokerages and the brokerage apps don't let them buy the stock. That's jacked up. Good people. That ain't right. I told y'all COVID was about the great uncovering. Everything is being uncovered. Everything is being uncovered. And so now we got this thing going on. And so now, the feds say, oh, we're monitoring this. I tell the feds who they better be monitoring. They better be monitoring these apps and these brokerages that didn't allow you to buy. They better be monitoring the hedge fund managers to make sure they have had are held to the same standard as the retail buyers are. I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm, I'm always positive, you know, on all of this, but I need to get this stuff off of my chest. Because here's what's happening, good people. Society here in America, I know you guys are listening all over the world, but here in America, we've been baptized in the idea that we have to feel sorry for the elite wealthy. Just look at TV. You know, there's always this, this, this pop singer. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Perfect body and perfect face. And I have to say this because I'm going to make the point. And then they do a news story on her and they're going and she goes, when I was two, I was bullied. This girl called me fat and I and and I, I suffered for five minutes. And then we all go, oh, and then then she leaves and get in her Bugatti, you know, and then she drives her tricked out Bugatti home to her 30 million dollar house with her millions and millions in the bank living a lifestyle, you know, she literally can pay somebody to work out for her. And it's just like, and then there's real bullying going on. There's young ladies being sex traffic and human trafficking going on. And society act like they don't give a damn about them. And we, we, we sitting here, you know, feeling sorry for these millionaires that got it all, everything they can ask for. It comes to them on a silver platter, man. We better wake up. I'm telling you, we, if we don't wake up, we will allow ourselves to be like Venezuela, man. You know, you got the rich and the poor. Oh, I, I say this. I keep it real here. You know, we, we, we have ageism, we have sexism, we have racism, but I'll tell you the, the next biggest wave. It's already been here. It's an evil that's just been here is is classism you know I mean, those of you that's old enough to remember saddam hussein he's sitting on a golden toilet golden palace two blocks away people dying of starvation god don't like ugly that's ugly and that's crazy so now we got a chance to partake on some of this money because we got tools to be smarter now and they don't they they want to shut it down and they want to give you all kind of excuse. I know about these brokerages like Robin Hood covering, you know, uh, covering their uh, covering their money. I know that they they got to cover it. You know, I know what that all. But he got on camera and said, oh, no, we're fine. When they asked him, is it a money prop? No, we're fine. So what is it? What it is, is you're straight busted. They're not the only one. So this is not against Robin Hood. This is this is the a institutional problem. OK, but we're going to stay. I'm I, I don't I, I'm I, I don't have a Robin Hood, but I'm keeping my other apps because we have to understand this. I want to say something. We this is going to really, really be deep. You have to understand this. The wealth of the righteous, the, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. So here's the stock market is just a tool. 
You are witnessing the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of the world. The hedge fund managers made more money than they ever have during COVID. There's more transfer of wealth going on right now than in the history of this world. And it's your turn to get some of it. And you got channels like this that soon they'll probably be coming for us because I'm going to say something real bold and some of y'all ain't going to like it. Some of you real smart guys are sitting on a pipe, smoking on a pipe, a smoke jacket. You're so, you're so wise. I'm going to tell you this. Some of us guys on YouTube are killing these hedge fund managers. And we letting y'all know for free. They don't like people like us. They don't. Because you guys are partaking of the money. You guys are getting some of that wealth. One of the things I learned about matter, matter is like money, right? Matter does not disappear. It just shifts like money. When your furnace cut on, cuts on, cold air doesn't disappear and vice versa. When your furnace cuts on, it chases away the cold air. And when your air conditioning cuts on, it chases away the hot air. The matter still exists. Money's the same way. It just gets transferred. And so now we are getting some of this money transferred to us. And now they're like, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, this, this was our party, right? So we need to stick together. And we need, we need them to, you know, I feel like Samuel L. Jackson in, in, in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> the Bible says, and I got that gun. <laughs> He's got that gun ready. And he, y'all know what he did, but it's like, this is, it's, it's crazy. And I'm telling you what's going on with GME, uh, uh, uh Nokia and, and AMC. I'm going to say this and I, I just needed to, I'm sorry, fam. I needed to get that off my chest, but let's talk about some stocks right now. GMC, AMC, all of the, all of the short, you know, short squeezes. Here's what's happening, fam. Eventually, those stock uh, can only be held up for so long, right? And so what happens is all the liquidity is pulled out of the stocks that we have, like the CCIVs, we were waiting for those to pop. They've pulled it all out and it's in, it's in the shortest stocks and they're making money and they're keeping the stock propped up. Eventually, somebody's gonna lose that battle and I think everybody, it's gonna be blood on both sides. I'm just telling you right off what's gonna happen. But the hedge fund managers are going to get up. They, they're going to learn a good lesson off of this one. And I'm rooting for the millennials and the institutional uh, investors like you and I. But anyway, eventually that money is going to come back to these stock. So what you and I need to be doing is looking at where there's buying opportunities. Having said that, I'm going to tell you that the market, I believe that the market is still going to be volatile until this thing is settled. And so what I'm going to say to you, I don't think any other guy like me is going to say is I wouldn't buy anything Monday. Cash up, cash up. If you're just getting into the market, you're in a sweet spot, but I would say cash up and let's look and let's monitor Monday and Tuesday, see how it is. If the Dow could run up Monday, anything's possible. But I'm still don't trust it. I, there's something I told you guys Wednesday that the market is going to be volatile to at least next Tuesday. I told you guys that last Wednesday. Right. And then it, it, it crashed. And then Thursday ran back up 500 points and then Friday back down 600 and something points. And that's what I'm saying. It's going to be a volatile ride right now. So when what happened to me is my my stop losses, I had four stop losses that triggered in it just cashed out my money but don't 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 feel don't feel don't cry for me argentina i'm good because the stock that um um um, um the stop losses triggered the minimum i was up was 30 percent. so i was up 50 50 i was up 40 percent on one and then i had a 10 percent, so i'm up 30 percent. i still made money so for those of you that think the stock market is risky, it is. But if you play you play your your cards right, you all you you could win. I can't say always win. And I'll just say this: if you invest in four stock and 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 three of them do okay, and one of them just flat go out and and you diversify it correctly, you still win. Three out of four is good. 
you know, the stock market is not about you getting everything right all the time. I'm just keeping it real with you, fam. So what I would say is we're going to monitor Monday and Tuesday. I want you guys to be protected. I want you to look at stop losses. And then there's some stop losses that you need to set 20% even. But cash up and be ready for these dips because there's going to be a lot of money to be made. You know, so again, I'm going to say this is the market rigged yes ray charles could see that with 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 stevie wonder pointing it out but we know how to play the game now fam we're wiser and we're gonna get this money because they can't hold it they can't control it we're just as smart as they are and we're growing there's more retail investors coming into the market so Hey, fam, let's roll. Let's be smart. Let's get this money. I'm sorry I had to just get this off of my chest so I can sleep well tonight. But we're going to make money. And I'm in. And for those of you that has like half stock like CCIV, I did. I even doubled down again Friday when the market went down. I bought the stock and the warrants. It's I think it's just going to take a little more time to get to the announcement because this all of this distraction is taken away from the announcement it definitely took money away took money out of the market it took money out of cciv i mean look at apple 111 billion last quarter i mean they killing it they killing it and the stock still falling so if you just have money just burning a hole in your pocket be smart buy something like apple it's good it's, it's a good stock. It's going to run. It's good. You're going to make money. But I will tell you, Monday, if it dips, if it just falls, if the stock market just falls horribly Monday, then buy. But I wouldn't buy with all my money. I would I would break it up into thirds or quarters, 25 or a third of what I was going to spend. If it drops, then we, you know, dip in and get spend a third of the money that you have into various stock that you think are buying opportunities. And then Tuesday, the goes back up. You good. You got that deal. And then if Wednesdays go back down, take another third, buy some more that buy some more on the deal. But me, I'm going to wait. Now, I am going to suggest stock for you to keep your eye on because that's always a good thing. Good people. So I tell you what, leave me a comment below. For those of you that's been rolling with me for a while, go ahead and hit a like. But leave me a comment below. And let's concentrate on stock that we think are good buying opportunities or undervalued stock that are going to perform well. Leave me a comment on what stock you think. And if you agree, if somebody posts a stock and and you guys agree, hit the like so we don't so we can sort of shine a light on that stock. Because all of us, the stock of fam, well, we're going to make money. Regardless. Love you guys. Live, love, laugh, and learn. Let's get this cash.